The tragedy and the nightmare continues in the state of Maine. We now know that a man of 40 years old, his name is Robert Card. He's a weapons instructor, so he knows a lot about guns. He knows a lot about ammunition. We know he's tied to the military reserves. We also know that he has a mental health issues, that he hears voices, and that not so long ago he was institutionalized. Yet somehow he got hold of an AR-15 and other semi-automatic weapons. How could that be? Well, part of it might be that the state of Maine is a permitless carry state meaning you don't need a permit, you don't need a background check, there are no red flags. And let's be perfectly fucking honest, if there were red flags, this motherfucker would have had a million of them. But still, he was able to get these guns. He goes out, he shoots and kills 18 people, injures 50 to 60 people. Now let me tell you how significant that is. In the entire year of 2022, 29 people were murdered in the state of Maine. In a span of 15 minutes, this fucking nutcase killed 18 people, injured 50 to 60 people. Now, here's the thing that bugs me the most. There's a representative, a Republican representative in the state of Maine. He showed up at the scene of the crime, and he was very upset. He was shaken. He said, I have to apologize. Up to this point, I hadn't done anything about gun control, but now I'm going to change my ways. I'm going to do everything I can to get control over this situation. Well, I appreciate your emotions, but I have a question for you. Are you telling me that after Uvalde, that wasn't enough? That after Sandy Hook, that wasn't enough. After the Pulse nightclub, that wasn't enough to open your eyes and realize we have a fucking problem. It wasn't until it got into your fucking backyard and now you're all upset. Here, here's the thing. I'm not convinced you give a fuck about the people that have died. But now that it's in your own backyard, it could affect your voters. You might lose votes over this. So now you have to do something. When you become a representative in the House, it's your job to represent this country and the people, to protect the Constitution and protect the people. You have failed fucking miserably. But don't feel like you're alone because it's the entire Republican Party that's done the same thing. I've heard a lot of Republicans talk the talk, but I have yet to see any of them do a fucking thing to protect the people of this country and have reasonable restrictions on guns. Some of you will talk when it hits home, but none of you do anything. I'm convinced nothing's going to happen until after 2024 and the Republicans are no longer in power in the House or the Senate. That's the only way it's going to get done because you Republicans can say what you want, but you've never fucking done anything. This is a tragedy. I'm sad for the people of Maine. I was there a week ago and I thought it was a sleepy, very nice town filled with wonderful people. Now the whole vibe of that state has changed. This man is still on the loose, and we have a lot of people in a wonderful state of Maine that are absolutely terrified, won't go outside of their homes. We could have avoided all this stuff had we taken care of this 30 years ago when it became a problem. But it's you Republicans that put us here. So don't cry and whine now, because you are complicit with what's going on in this country.